sliding gate motor installation. Today, we are going to install RSL-12UL sliding gate motor by LiftMaster. Inside the box, you will find the motor itself, reflective photo eye sensor, and 5-foot edge sensor. Use a half-inch socket to release the motor from the wood pallet. Place the motor in its position, usually about 5 to 6 inches behind the gate, and drill the concrete for 3 8 inch concrete expansion bolts. Place the bolts in and secure the motor. Mark and attach the chain's L-bracket on both sides of the gate at the same height as the motor's pulleys, aluminum L-bracket sold separately. Use number 12 self-drilling screws to attach the L-bracket to the gate. Drill half-inch hole on the L-bracket to attach the chain's tension bolt. The location of the hole depends on where you place the motor relative to the gate. Repeat on both sides. Leave room to tighten the chain later. Take the chain out of the bag and connect it from one side using the extra chain link. Lay the chain parallel to the gate all the way to the other side and place it on the motor's spokes between the two pulleys. Shorten the chain to reach the other side of the gate by removing one of the chain lines. Connect the chain to the other side with the extra chain link like before. Use the chain's tension bolt to tighten the chain. Do not over tighten the chain. Open the photo eye box. The photo eye sensor should be installed about 5 inches in front of the gate at 24 to 30 inches high. The sensor will stop the gate from closing if there is an object blocking the way. Run the sensor cable under the V-track to the motor. Install the sensor's steel bracket to the wall or post using two screws. and attach the plastic holder to the bracket. Place the sensor in its holder and secure it with the other plastic part and two side screws. Then screw in the lock screw in the center of the holder, but do not lock the sensor in place. Install the reflector on the other side facing the eye sensor. Installing the edge sensor. This sensor is sensitive to touch and should be installed on the back of the gate. Once the gate is open, it will stop immediately once something touches the sensor on the way back. Start by attaching the aluminum bracket to the end of the gate. Use number 8 self-drilling screws. Once the aluminum bracket is attached, slide in the rubber sensor. Plug in the end cap with the wire to the bottom of the rubber sensor. For this installation, we used LiftMaster Wireless Edge Kit that's sold separately to laminate the wire connecting the edge sensor to the motor. Install the transmitter bracket on the bottom of the gate close to the sensor. Open its box and run the wire inside the transmitter box. Connect both wires to the yellow connector and plug it in. Put two AA batteries in the transmitter and close the box. Time to connect both eye and edge sensors to the motor. Starting with the eye sensor, take out of the motherboard the green and yellow wire connector where it says exit, shadow, 
clothes, eyes. Connect the wires coming from the eye sensor to the yellow port of the connector, black on the top and red on the bottom. Once wires are secure, plug the connector back to the motherboard. Once the eye sensor is connected, aim the sensor at the reflector on the other side. Light will turn blue once it is aimed correctly. Then close the center screw to lock the sensor in place. Now to connect the edge sensor receiver to the motor, just insert the wire from the bottom and plug it in on the right bottom corner on the motherboard where it says EXP board. Setting up the close and open positions of the gate, press and hold both set open and set close buttons on the motherboard until the beep. Press the up button to close the gate. Once the gate is exactly on its close position, press the set close button once. Now, press the down button to move the gate to its open location. and press the set open button. Lastly, to set up the remote control, open its cover and move the pin so you will have your own unique combination. Press and hold the yellow learn button on the motor until it beeps, then press the remote button. Try to close or open the gate to make sure the remote is working. Close the clear electronic cover and the plastic cover for the motor. Secure the cover with its bolt. Run a few tests on the sensor. And your gate motor installation is done.